Welcome back today, guys. We're over here on Scorched Earth. Over in the uh, dunes. Now, I know I said we were going to tame a waste store. Or there was the chance, anyways. Um, it's not going to happen today, anyways. Um, I, I don't think I'm prepared. That's really it. Um, Weapon-wise, I mean, I've only got, like, this fabricated pistol. And not many bullets for it. And... It's really doesn't do that whole lot of damage. And I think I really need a fabricated weapon. And of course, there's another storm happening. What a surprise. All right. Let the vultures attack that body. And yeah, you guys just attack that. All right. So what we're going after today is the Faslosuchus. Yeah, this is going to be my first attempt at it. Um, I've got a level 100 here, so I'm kind of hoping this works out right. Um, I'm just going to kind of sneak up on it here. I know you're supposed to wear gilly, and you kind of got to explode it out of the ground. Um, but I'm kind of hoping... I don't know how close I got to be. I don't think that's far enough. really that, maybe? That's gotta be. Alright, let's not turn our back on it, but kinda keep an eye. And then... Oh, no. Let's not do that. There we go. And that's what we're looking for. And then, we gotta you know, kinda hit rocks in order to gain torpidity but this thing would not follow me and now i've got to uh kind of guide it all the way down here um and of course everything i cleared out down here is kind of gone so but oh wow we're gaining very little torpidity um but we're also still gaining control so come on there we go. This might take a lot longer than I think. All right, maybe as long as we keep crashing into rocks, we should be good. Force, all right, no. And you kind of don't have full control over him, which kind of sucks because he's just kind of going crazy. Um. There we go. No. Okay, so I'm technically not controlling right now. Um, and there is another one down here, which kind of sucks because I hope... Oh, crap. That's not what we wanted. All right. Is he chasing us? Oh, yeah. Um, that kind of stinks. I mean, it doesn't hurt the taming effectiveness effectiveness but it does hurt us because now i've got to wait for him to go back into the ground i figured this would be a good spot with all these rocks um but apparently not of course there is a bunch of hills here so i mean it kind of could affect that part all right i need you to go back in the ground bud and that arthro is going to sneak up on me Come on. Of course. Don't spit. Alright. Do you have anything good? No. Alright. Um. Let's get out of the vulture's way. I don't want them attacking me. Now I have to... Oh, there's an... Of course you do. I, I'm not even near you, and you're... Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. You guys are so annoying. Literally, you... There was no need for this. I... I... Oh my gosh, that... They just irritate me so much. And there's Ovis down there. I was literally looking for them prior to this. That... 
Oh my goodness. That irritates me. I was literally... I, I cleared this area out, and now they're spawned back, and... Yeah. I gotta wait for this guy to go back in the ground. Is there any more down there? Mavis? No, just a pego? Two pegos? Great. Now, I did... You know, luckily enough, find plenty of C4 for this guy. Um, but this kind of sucks because I've got to wait for him to decide to dig back into the ground and then he has to, you know, pop up his little rock mound. All right. I should have brought bug repellent. That might have been smart just to kind of keep the arthros and whatnot. And of course, if the storm would go away, that'd be helpful. All right, so he digs. You just need his mound. All right. Now we just need Pegos to leave us alone. And that would be great. That would help out a lot. All right, there's your mound. That's got to be close enough, right? And... Oh, no. That's your mound. Oops. All right. And we're back at it. All right. This is kind of perfect. No, it's not. Get out of here, tree. Keep going, rocks. I really wish this torpedity would increase quicker. So a 150 is going to suck because we're going to need... I've heard metal does better. And... Okay, trees could get out of here. That'd be great. Um, metal and salt nodes, anyways. Do a lot better. So I sh should really find an area with that. But... Okay, come on. Get out of this. This is the irritating part. This is... Not me controlling him. And I would prefer him to go not this way. Alright, this isn't bad. Do I have to do anything special? No? Okay, so there's no attacks. We need rocks. This dude, stop going that way. Alright, there we go. If that Rex over there would stay out of over here, that would be splendid. Oh, okay, thanks. And it looks like I'm pretty sure nothing. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. That is great. This is just a lovely experience. And there's a mantis. Oh, please. Um, where are you at? There you are. Okay, this kind of sucks. Let's, uh, no, get back. Pull up the RG. Pull up the RG. All right, I need to, uh, take care of these mantis. Otherwise, they're just going to hurt me. And then I might have to go get some grenades. That might be the issue. We might need to, uh, make some because I have a feeling he's going to just keep breaking loose. I might need to lead him away from over here and kind of... I have an area where I know that would be a good spot. Okay. Why is the scorpion so annoying? Alright. Yeah. Um, where's that other mantis? There you are. Can I pick up a mantis? No. Okay. You guys are so annoying. Please get out of here. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to need to hide now. All right. I will... Uh... Yeah. This is going to be a fun, fun time. So give me one moment. Try to get everything situated again. If not, we'll be in the middle of taming or right at tamed. So yeah. Let me uh, bring you guys back around that age. Well, age, time. 
I just want to say something. I'm out of C4 now. So, we're headed back. I'm going to figure out something. Explosive wise. I think something might be wrong with it. Because I have literally cleared that entire section of rocks. And I don't know. It's like not even raising its torpor at all. Which kind of kind of upsets me just a little because I'm like what am I supposed to do when it's literally the objective is to ram it into big rocks and I know some people say well metal nodes work and salt nodes work but that doesn't make any sense because I don't know I feel like a bigger rock should work as well as the you know, metal and salt and crystal and whatnot I, I just I don't know it's kind of weird um, maybe there's a technique to it that I just haven't really learned. I mean, because I'm, once you get on it, you have no control. So it, you're just solely up to the simple fact of the creature. And it kind of just does what it wants. And kind of sucks. And, okay, you don't need to be following me. I don't know. I, I, yeah. Um, I should have. Okay, so I need gunpowder. I can easily get gunpowder. Um, yeah, give me one moment. Let me uh, get some grenades crafted. I guess I better go for like 20 or 30. And I'm probably not going to do a level 100. I was really hoping for a high level, but yeah, it might not happen. Might be a, a low level tame until there's more information on it. Because, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of kind of rough. Um, this might be a, a video I sit back and just kind of hold on to. I don't know. I didn't want to do wyverns just yet, but I need... I don't even know if wyverns can pick those guys up. I need something to kind of relocate them. Because they don't follow really well. I mean, that level 100... I tried to get down where it's at now. So I guess I really just need to explode it, carry it, you know, kind of drive it to where I want. So, yeah. Let me get everything prepared for it again. And we'll be back. I just want to say this is the best I've done so far. And, yeah, we're up here by the base. I literally aggroed this guy all the way across the map. It's kind of annoying. Because you still got to watch out for these uh, rib cages and stuff. But there's plenty of rocks up here. If you just kind of get in the groove of just letting him kind of go in circles, you can kind of steer him away from him. Maybe not here. Maybe not here. No, let's not go here. Okay. Yeah. So this is kind of the best I've had. And yeah i really don't want him close to the base because i don't want him to accidentally get stuck that seems to be the issue so if he gets stuck he yeah for some odd reason yeah let's let's leave this area and then he kind of just runs into random things but yep okay let's uh let's go back over this way no not this way yeah, this way. And of course, I've got like every possible thing going on. Sandstorms, heat waves. Yeah, it's literally a nightmare right now because I'm just hoping I don't get knocked out. Because if I do, I'm going to be really mad. And yeah, I'm, I, I've literally almost given up. I, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go over here. But yeah, I would find an area like this. Of course, I've got to be careful of Thylas and Carnos and Raptors and everything else because literally the hardest tame, I think, in Ark is this. Yeah, I, I don't know. Esperonis, I think I'd rather deal with. And no, let's not go that way i kind of want to lead him back over towards the base kind of sort of no 
And of course, there's like small rocks that he hits that you don't really realize are rocks. Like right there. I didn't know there was a rock there. But you gotta stay away from the cliff edges. And if this moss chops doesn't move, dude, you've ruined this thing four times. I, I've literally had to chase that moss chops off like four or five times because all he does is just sit there and walk. Please don't hit a rock here. There we go. No, get away from that. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I've kind of got to keep him aggroed on me so that he doesn't aggro to the doeds and we can kind of keep our torpidity and of course you do of course you the stupid i swear i've cleared this area out four times of these things and they just keep coming back it's so annoying i really wish single player would stop doing that where if you de-render a zone that it renders more dinos in like that parasaur i've killed these doeds that morella tops i've chased off and it's yeah so annoying all right, I guess I better go get water before I pass out. Yeah, I'll be back. There literally is no sandstorm, no cube, nothing. And I'm getting, s I literally cannot stand what's going on right now. It, it doesn't make any sense. Why am I in a sand, there's no sandstorm here. It doesn't make sense. I. I fully do not understand why I'm in a sandstorm when there's no sandstorm. This is so annoying. This has happened to me like three times now. And I've had to waste a grenade because I'm apparently too... F yeah. I don't know. I, I don't understand. There's nothing to protect you from the sandstorm or the weather. It it's outrageous. Alright. Well, I guess I will uh, be back. If not. Oh, look. Now the sandstorm. It it's actually... No. No sandstorm clear as day it's annoying all right we've got him this close come on stop going into this freaking bone get rid of this bone dude it's so annoying this tame is just dude just get off of me for two seconds and these doeds keep coming back bones it, it's annoying there's so many undestroyable bones that you can't do anything like i was having just fine and now i'm down to one grenade and he's almost done i've wasted seven grenades on this last like 15 percent and he won't despawn just unload and of course i'm like you know fully heat stroke so sorry for that but this is so annoying this is the most frustrating tame in ARC. I 100% I, I agree with this tame. They they need to either uh, A, up the amount of Torpor you get per rock. Okay, now he's swirling something, so that's great. So I, I, I'm literally... This is probably the only one I tame. In, unless there's some kind of fix, this is probably going to be the only Basso I tame. I don't even want to attempt a max level. And this freaking heat stroke. It's like... Okay, this is annoying too. Just let me hit E on that. It's just so annoying. I, I I do not understand why this tame is so difficult. It baffles me. Like, why? Like, I understand it should be a complex tame, and he's still circling. This dude is so annoying. Just land. Let's do this for the fourth time. I'm sure it's a doe ed. I'm sure exactly that's... Yep. 100%. Dude, you are the most annoying thing in the world. Oh, nope. It's a Jerobo. Gotta get rid of the Jerobo. And then get rid of this. 
it, it's so annoying. I, yeah. I, I've been doing this for two hours, nonstop. Okay, just chill up there. Is he still biting at something? I can't tell because. Yep. Let me guess. It's the baby's body that you can't consume. There. I don't. I don't know. Everywhere has these bones. Everywhere has a, some type of little tiny mound that he gets stuck on, and then throws you off, and you get heat stroke because there's now there's Ankies. Just get out of here. Just go. I I don't know. He better be burrowed. Burrowed. Whatever you want to call it. Of course not. What are you chasing now? A freaking baby jer- Dude. I'm losing torpidity because of this. Because of a Jeroboa. Now dig in the ground. So I can, I, I mean, I'm literally trying to do this right before bed. I would like to go to bed, please. And of course, what is, what's in your inventory? Okay, just, just that. If he wants prime meat so bad, why don't he just dig? There we go. Now stay in the ground this time. Get out of here, bug. Go. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Nope, he's going to swim. Okay, yep. Stay away from that. Just go this way. Just, yep. No, I'm sure you're going to throw a fit because there's some kind of... A... a Skeleton. Dude, just throw a random rock in here. There we go. Alright. Now that I have some control. Or, yep, we can hit the, the rock that doesn't even count. And you're going to run right into the skull. Because, why not? Let's just keep running into the bones. All right. Yep. And I'm going to get... Okay. Um, all right. Please just... Please go down right here. This would be great. Please tell me these bones are harvestable. If all this is harvestable, we should be fine. Please. Just one rock. Something. Please. Oh my god. Oh. You are so annoying. Oh my. Thank you. Yep. Only one I'm going to tame. Just saying that. Only one. Yep. I'm. Yeah. I, I'm going to get water. Trust me, bud. I am. Yeah. So fed up with this game. Oh my goodness. I'm not fed up with the game. I'm just fed up with that taming. I really hope they change it. Sort of. I, I, I think the uh, the guy needs more 4-4 um, four, four per rock. Yeah. Um, we're just going to take our tent, and I'm going to go camp somewhere where he's not loaded in. And uh, wait for him to, uh, yeah, starve down enough. Yep. Give me my tent. Um, no. You. Come here. Yeah, we're working on our tapaharas, trying to get some bread up. All right. I'm going to plop my my dill over here. Jeez Louise. I am so glad. And now if I spawn, if I unload this area, and I come back and there's rafters sitting on top of him, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to straight up lose it. Um, Can we open, please? Thank you. 
All right. Yep. Time for me to just sit here. All right. Catch you guys in a minute when he's actually tamed up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and if you guys want to know a little tip, if you come to your uh, inventory and you go down to show buffs, your heat stroke amount is right there. I don't know why they don't show it down here. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. It, it yeah, baffles me. Still got a long ways to go. Yep. I'm probably going to wait till about halfway, and then I'm going to feed him. I just don't want to be anywhere near him. Yeah. Catch you guys again in a second. That just doesn't make any sense. I'm just saying because they cause the most issues. They're the sacrifice. I am... Yep. Go, Eds. Yeah. You're, you're, you're the sacrifice today. I'm just... Yep. Not even going to attempt it. You guys have ruined yeah actually I, I said early two hours and now that I'm looking at it I started this at 9 p.m. roughly it's now midnight so three you know three hours it took me three hours to tame this one it, it's crazy I think it's in nothing against wild card it's such a great creature I think it has to do with the torpor I think the uh, there's something in the system that doesn't recognize bigger rocks. I think that's really what it is. Um, yeah, because it doesn't make sense why he's not, you know, why he didn't get knocked out way before. Maybe that's the system, you know, the, the problem. I've seen some people saying, you know, crystal and stuff like that, bone, salt. But from what I, everyone that I've seen, because at first I thought I was doing it wrong, so I had to look it up. But from what I've seen, everyone says that it just takes forever. And I, I mean, I do four and a half taming. I do. Um, not going to deny. But that's just so that way I can speed videos up. And that's why I don't put, you know, numbers or show how long it takes to tame because I know mine are boosted. I mean, I know, but that's just so that way I can get videos up and not have to worry about a Thyla or something ruining my tame, you know? Alright, please. Please be enough. Oh, yeah. You're only going up by... Are we gonna get you right here? No. 75%? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna fly away. Bye, Jerbo. And if this is max level, Lila, it gets to live. Nope. It does not live. It gets to uh, peacefully rest. Oh, we got a we got a map. That's nice. Okay. Oh, it's uh. I want to check that out. Um. Oh, he's almost tamed. You know what? I'm not going to check it out. We're going to check out this fast slow. That's what this video is about. The most painful tame ever. Yep. I forgot to mention this earlier. I got a really good saddle from the, uh, uh, a red drop. Of course, we'll roll the clip after I get done talking here. But I lost one. I lost the, uh, 98 armor or something. I think it might have been 100. But we got this BP blueprint well this blueprint and this saddle plus another one and i accidentally uh dropped it because i picked up the tapahara i forgot to pick up the bag forgot it was there so yeah and are you almost done almost there i think it's like maybe a few more pieces of food so all right got a red drop here with a ring let's see what we got okay so, I, I mean, I'm in the works of taming a Faso, and we just, we pull that, plus these, oh my, Rex saddles. Oh, and we got a blue. Jeez Louise. Um, any, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm taking that. All right. Catch you guys back in the video.
All right. He is tamed up. I mean, of course, he's a 149 because, well, he's level 100 and only gained 50 levels. All right. Make sure to leave a name in the comments. Um, he is... I mean, I kind of like it. It's all black. Kind of like a Komodo dragon. All right, so that was right click was his tail. Space is to dig. All right. Now let's see. I know there's some kind of deal. That, oh, okay. It's uh left click if you're underground. You can do this. Oh, and he's trying to bite us. Okay. And of course, there's the uh, the thorn damage, kind of like the uh, um, Arthros have. Arthros, yeah. Arthropolura, yeah. That's what what they have. I mean, stat wise, we need Stam because clearly he's gonna run through it. But the one thing that I did like about this is he clicks flint and if i'm correct not even the anki only collects flint it still collects a little bit of stone so this is gonna be the thing we need for making mass amounts of spark powder plus a doe ed, of course um you know you know what because he ruined my tame not tame but taming process he also gets sacrificed we'll just sink him down Okay, or not. I guess it just kind of traps them, probably. But I did see we were getting like 300. Oh, that's probably on the uh, um, Raptor's headshot. But yeah, this is nice. And from what I understand, he does. Okay, we got it. Of course, need a pump stamp. Um, from what I understand, he uh, has like an armor debuff, so PvP wise, I mean, if someone's, you know, not expecting this guy, because I wonder, can you, alright, you can bury him, can you make him mount though, while he's under, unbury, options, oh, he automatically does it, oh, that's, that's pretty good, because you could, uh, let me see if I can set this up right. Because he kind of lunges forward when he buries. I wonder if you can kind of hide him in a rock. So, like, if you have him here, what happens? Okay, you can't. What about now? No. All right, so they thought of it. They thought of it before I could. I mean, storage-wise, it's going to be nice because I can just kind of... Oh, no, we can. So if you, like, had this and, like, say another rock here, and you had these guys set up like that, as long as they're focused here, oh, man, you could have some nice little traps, PvP-wise. I don't know if that really actually worked. Um, not a big PvP player, so, yeah. But no waste of sword today. Just this guy. So he does not fit through uh, gates, um, small gates. Okay. Um, although I feel like he should. Oh, and we can hide as a rock. Oh, that's even better. Um, yeah, that's definitely got to be a game changer. Although, I guess if he hides like that, it kind of sucks. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I know I didn't say that earlier, but, I mean, we just tamed the most difficult tame in ARC. So, yeah. Um, if you found this useful, please let me know. I, I really don't think it was useful because I didn't even know what I was doing and kind of got frustrated. I almost quit. So, yeah. Thank you guys. And, of course, catch you later.